Good evening everyone all the way from Thailand. Let's talk about your life. Is it currently off track? Are you going the wrong direction? Are you slightly off balance or out of alignment? If this is the situation, it's okay. So many people reach out to me because they are struggling with this. But today I wanted to give you six steps if you are feeling like you're off track and you need to course correct your life. We can do it all together, but these will be six steps that can be helpful for you. To understand this, I want to give you an analogy first. So it's story time. <laughs> so for me, before I became a Buddhist monk, like I shared before, I was living in Malibu, California. As a lay person for me, I had many goals and I had many dreams and I was involved in so many different things. I loved working out and going to the gym. I love working as a therapist and I love psychology. Uh, I was a professional dancer, so that meant that I was going all over the place for rehearsals and dance practice. I would be in Malibu, California, and I would have rehearsal in one city for modern dance. <laughs> I would go to Santa Monica for ballet. I would go to another city for my hip hop rehearsal and performances here and there. And to get to all these places, I was so driven. To get to all these places, I needed a car. And at that time, for me, is I didn't pay attention so much to the maintenance of my car. <laughs> I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but it wasn't a concern to me. A vehicle at that time was to get from point A to point B. And I remember my dad would always remind me, take care of your car. <laughs> Anytime that I saw him, he would ask me, did you get an oil change? He would look into my car and see, okay, is your gas under the 50% mark? And he would always encourage me to take care of it. And again, myself just keep going and keep pushing. And I knew I had to take it in to get it maintained at certain distances, but let's push <laughs> let's push a little bit more let's get to my destination a bit faster i have things to do i have people to see and places to go and from this i had to learn the hard way slowly bit by bit cars started to break down the tires became out of alignment and it was to the point where my car if i were to lift both hands would start to swerve <laughs> on its own and it was quite bad to the point where the car just broke down but for me this is an analogy that can help to serve us to understand how to get our life back in balance from that then how does this apply to you and for me let's get right into six steps that can help you to course correct your life if you're going off track have the right view and the right understanding. When we use the analogy of the car, when we first take it off the lot and we start using it, what happens? The tires are in alignment. It's going right on balance. You have a destination, you have a goal. And when you start to use it bit by bit, it starts to get out of alignment. Why is that? Well, that's because when we hit a pothole, when we get onto a, a speed bump, when the roads aren't so even, then when it gets hot, the heat on the road starts to shape how our tires turn. But from all these interaction with the road, with the weather, then your car starts to get out of whack a little bit. It starts to um, swerve. And in the beginning, we may not notice this, but it happens just step by step. And this is the same thing that happens with us. And the first thing to understand is that when we are going out into the world, by having goals, by having dreams and desires, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily, but from pursuing these goals, from now engaging with the outside world and using our five senses. When you start to see more things, 
you start to hear more messages the smells the touch the taste then what happens what happens is we start to form identities and we start to have goals we start to have more cravings and every time that we interact with people with things in the outside world then emotion starts to come up it starts to cloud our mind and bit by bit the clear mind the clear goal the clear intention that we had now just like the car starts to veer off it starts with the hairline crack you won't even notice this but slowly it starts to swerve it starts to swerve a little bit more 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 and more so just like the car the more that we use it then the more we need to maintain it and for our own lives too the more that we engage with the outside world and our five senses then the more the mind starts to cloud itself and we can start to uh, get off track a little bit so the first thing we need to understand is that this is the nature of things and this is quite normal where are you currently at for this stage we need to see for your life how off track are you is it are you starting to swerve a tiny bit are you unbalanced and out of alignment of where you're trying to go by a lot or are you in the danger zone and where <laughs> we're going so far to the right where you're gonna go into a ditch and you're gonna crash where are you on this spectrum so I would say the second step for us to uh, do is then to see for your life how off track are you from where you're trying to go is your check engine light on is it trying to tell you like I'm quite off base I'm quite unbalanced and I need to take this vehicle in and get it maintained so the second step is to assess accurately how off track are you have compassion this bleeds into the next step because when people identify and catch that oh no <laughs> if I were to look at my life I'm beyond off track and what happens next is then people will beat themselves up they will judge themselves and they feel bad that I should I should have done that uh, I should have been better at this I should and we start to blame ourselves we start to criticize ourselves we start to judge ourselves that how did I get to this point where I, I'm going the wrong direction uh, that's one way we can look at it but for me what I want to offer you is look at it with compassion compassion means that this is a great thing the fact that you're able to identify that whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> take a break check engine light is on there's something wrong I'm a bit off balance and I need to get it back in alignment let me correct it now the mere fact that you can identify it you can recognize it you can call it out and now we're gonna do something about it fantastic and for me working with uh, drug addicts in the drug treatment center we always talk about owning and accepting that it's a problem first when we can fully accept that then we can start to make changes but this phase of your life instead of seeing it or going back to the normal habit of judging yourself celebrate it celebrate it I caught it this time now I want to do something about it and this mindset the shift in mindset can be a game changer for you and can open the door for real changes to happen assess your life this next step is then just like the car when we take it into the shop assess it diagnose it and diagnose it neutrally <laughs> when the mechanic diagnoses your car there's no emotions involved 
they're just doing a printout here's what's going on but for you is the same thing when you start to assess your own life pick a dimension look at your finances okay where is it off are you spending too much or is it going off course look at your relationships with people with your family with your friends with your loved ones with yourself are you spending enough time are they taking too much time and start to see the people you're hanging out with is it healthy for you or is it unhealthy again just neutrally assess we have so many different dimensions of us and go through and everyone will be different some people need to look at their health some people need to sleep more drink more water some people need to have more motivation but whatever your thing is go through the different areas of your life and just identify okay what needs tending to and if you can take out a journal start to write these things down give yourself time to reflect on it and just clearly identify okay um, which dimension of my life do that uh, sorry which dimension of my life is off balance and then which dimension do I need to get back in realignment come up with a plan so once we have assessed our lives then come up with a plan and the key that I want to highlight here is everyone's life is different everyone's nature is different so take a look with wisdom and see what works for you I don't know your schedule <laughs> I don't know if you're single or married or have kids I don't know how much time you have but from your situation the conditions of your life now come up with a plan what do I need to do do I need to hire a professional that I work with do I need some consulting do I need to do research do I need an accountability partner what what is it that I need to do and from your situation plan it am I doing this and starting to correct these patterns and habits on a daily basis on a weekly basis how do I want to tend to it but use your best guess use uh, your best wisdom in this moment and we can always adjust but come up with a plan and then write it out take action and the last step in all of this is then carry out that plan put it into action and get moving <laughs> whatever you have set out then try to attempt those things and just take it one day at a time and start to with one step at a time start to bring your life back in balance and this can take uh, a little time this can take a lot of time but again it depends on your situation but taking action will start to get your life back in balance but there you have it these are the six steps and for me why I'm sharing all of this is because this is normal and this is just the process of life and even I have to share a secret <laughs> even as a Buddhist monk for us we're busy and yes while we tend to ourselves we have our monastic practice but we also try to spread the wisdom all around the world as well and we have goals and we have plans and we have inspiration to help out the world and from that fact from our travels from our teachings from our interaction with other people then it also gets us off track because those five senses that you have and that you're subject to we do too <laughs> and slowly it starts to erode slowly it starts to cloud the mind those cravings that you have the ego creeps in the desires all of those things that I shared with you same thing but from having this wisdom then for us is we're preventative 
and we try to be smart about it. We understand this is the nature of doing work and being involved in the outside world. So from that, then let's take steps. Let's take steps and to come clean and clear. I touched on this before, but I wanna add it again. These things, it's so sneaky. It's so, so sneaky and you really cannot tell how it takes you off track. And it's just minute by minute, <laughs> day by day, you think you're the same person, but all of this just underlying. Again, the alignment starts with a hairline crack. And with time, with more interaction, it starts to take you off course. And that's just how it is. So from us then is how do we prevent this is take time to come back to yourself. Take time to come back to your meditation. You can try journaling. You can try uh, reflecting and contemplating on your life, taking a pause and just even analyzing the situation and reflecting on what we're talking about now can be helpful. Also then get someone who is wise, get a coach or for us, we have our teaching monks. We have our brother monks that keeps us accountability and I ask for feedback all the time of, hey, am I too attached? <laughs> am I going in the wrong direction? Great intention, but am I off base? And this is such an important question. This is such a humbling act that can be so helpful to you and your life. And yes, <laughs> I think that's all that I had for today, but this is quite an important topic that I just wanted to give you as a gentle reminder. Again, if your life is going off course, no worries. Identify it, call it out, and take steps to put it back on course. So life out there is dangerous. <laughs> Life out there is scary. So for me, I would say is just take your time, enjoy the ride, put on your seatbelt and everyone be safe. But I hope that is helpful. All right, everyone. Talk to you soon.